Uh, AT&T and GM, what were the differences in leading those corporations? There really wasn't any difference when you get down to it. Both had great people, both were big companies, uh, both were unionized, uh, but they all had people that wanted to do well and there was no difference really. Dan Ackerson succeeded you. Tell me, how do you think he's doing at the helm of GM? I think he was a great pick. I think he's doing well. I think you just have to look at the results and you'll know that Dan's doing very well. We're here in the Cadillac section of the Rensen. Uh, what kind of car do you drive, by the way? I drive a Cadillac CTSV, and I love that car. I think GM builds the best cars, and uh, that was their mission, to, was to design, build, and sell the world's best. So when you were head of GM, um, obviously that was a pride factor. If you drive a Cadillac now, it seems like you're kind of a GM guy. Is that, was that a pride factor for you, uh, the vehicles that you turned out? You bet. I've been a GM driver uh, most of my adult life. It was a pride factor to see GM do well. Was then, still is, and I know it will be in the future. What's your favorite GM car? Going way back. I mean, do you have any one favorite? My first car was a 1951 Chevrolet, not new. And I've had a succession of Pontiacs and Oldsmobiles. My favorite car, I guess, is this CTSV. I think it has... Uh, more on the ball than any car I've driven. Let's talk about the um, the status of the bailout. Does it look like GM is doing what they should be doing to emerge from bankruptcy? Or to, to, to I, I think from the GM's bailout? on a nice trajectory. I think uh, sort of shedding the label of government motors. They still have a little more to go, but they've made incredible progress and I think they're on the right trajectory. Ackerson says they hope to, to get rid of the government side of the funding mid-decade. Mid, uh, Can't is that, happen too soon. Yeah. Sooner the better. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the Treasury Department just came out and criticized GM for using taxpayers' money to give some raises. Was that founded on their part? Would you have done that? What do you think? Well, I don't think that I read very much about that, so I'm not sure I can be knowledgeable about that. but. I think what was done was probably the right thing to do, necessary, and probably handled judiciously. Let's talk a little bit about, uh, since you work for AT&T and GM, both heavily unionized, uh, the governor here, Rick Snyder, has just passed the right to work. I know Texas is a right to work state. Right. What do you think about his attempt and success in doing that, and was that a good idea? You know, I don't have any idea. My experience with the union here, United Auto Workers, was terrific. They were very helpful in turning GM around. Likewise, with AT&T, had a great relationship. I don't know that that factor had any weight one way or another. Really didn't enter into it. You come from an oil-producing state in Texas with the gas prices. You know, I was recently in Texas. Gas prices are low. Here, they've spiked up at to three ninety-nine a gallon. How will that affect, if any, the turnaround of the big three, the gas prices going higher? Well, I don't think it will affect it because I think the engines are more efficient. I think uh, that's been in mind and that's kind of been the strategy all along is to be more fuel efficient. We've also made efforts in other propulsion systems like the electric car, which we should be doing. And so, you know, it won't affect GM any more than anybody else. Gotcha. Just have two questions. Tell me about the, the, the best thing about your book that you think um, somebody in business will take from it. What do you think is the best thing that, that you were able to write from it? Well, I think uh, hopefully one of the things is if I can do it, anybody can do it and be persistent, which seemed to work for me and I think works for most anybody. Set your goals and just kind of hang in there, stay with it. And anything you would have done different at GM or wish you would have uh, maybe? pursued that you did? You know, I wish I'd stayed longer, wish I could have stayed longer, wish it'd been different. I did the right thing, but but I miss it. And there's always things, if you had a chance, you'd do it differently, but in the total picture, I'm happy with it. What would it be that you would do different? A lot of things. Is there one regret? Nope. Come on, you gotta give no, me something. No regrets other than I had to leave before oh. I thought I was going to. So you'd still like to be there now? Well, you know, you miss it, yeah. And it was the right thing for me to do. The IPO came up quicker. I was going to stay through the IPO, but it happened a year sooner than we thought it would. That's a good thing because GM was making 
uh, good profits, yeah. and I'm glad it did. So it worked out. These are great people. I have no regrets.